Hey everyone, Ross McCorkle here with another episode of The Depot 180. Pittsburgh Steelers had their first preseason game on Friday just after the last episode of this show, so there's plenty to talk about. The game was defined by sloppy play for the Steelers. There were some special teams penalties and gaffes, including a muff punt by Quez Watkins that led to a quick score by the Texans' offense. The Steelers' first team offense, led by Justin Fields, allowed two sacks and had two botched snaps from Nate Herbig to Fields. You can place the blame either way, but I lean towards Fields after watching the clips slowed down dozens and dozens of times. Regardless, not a good look for the starting offense after a mostly crisp last couple weeks of training camp. Fields and the skill position players stayed in for a third drive because the first two were ended short by mistakes. In those three drives, they managed zero points. The Steelers lost the game 20-12. to The second team offensive line subbed in for the third drive and things looked pretty good overall. Mason McCormick and Zach Frazier, the rookies, and Spencer Anderson, second-year player, all did pretty well in the interior. This allowed Broderick Jones to kick back over to the left and Troy Faltanu on the right. It was a bit of a rough game for Faltanu. He allowed both sacks on fields, though PFF only dinged him for one. I posted a film room on his performance on the site, so check that out for more in-depth analysis on his play. Faltanu suffered a mild MCL sprain in this game and is out for the next week, including the second preseason game. Mike Tomlin said they're optimistic for a quick return. Jerry Dulac of the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette reported that Faltanu is tracking to be the week one starter. That's the plan. That came as a bit of a surprise to me given the injury and his rough performance in preseason game one, but they are going to have to start him at some point. Might as well get that process started as early as possible. The public practices at training camp are coming to a close with the last one on Wednesday. They will then have their joint practice against the Buffalo Bills on Thursday before playing them on Saturday evening. In the meantime, catch up on training camp with Alex Kazora's diary for each individual day of camp. Catch up on the preseason performances of each player with the various film rooms that have been posted or will soon be posted on the site. Oh, and I haven't forgot, Brandon Ayuk, that saga is still ongoing. Not much to update other than there seems to be a deal in place between the 49ers and the Steelers, and the 49ers just need to decide if they are pulling the trigger. More or less what it's been for the last week or so. Hopefully it ends one way or the other soon. Let me know how you enjoyed the video on Twitter at Ross underscore McCorkle, and as always, visit SteelersDepot.com for your latest and greatest Steelers breaking news and analysis.